Hi, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up your proxy access through your My UVM portal. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to log into your My UVM portal. And the top screen of your screen is probably going to look a little bit like this. And you're going to want to click on this drop down menu, which will give you this drop down menu. Then you're going to want to click on student financial services, which will then give you this drop down menu. And then you're going to want to click on explore student financial services. This will lead you to another page, which will have a bunch of boxes that look a lot like this, and they'll just have different things on them. This is a really important page just to remember for the rest of UVM because it has pretty much everything you're ever going to need for financial aid purposes. But for today, you're going to want to click on the proxy access one and specifically the set up and manage proxy users. This is going to bring you to another tab and you're going to click on add proxy. Then it's going to bring you to this. This is a little drop down menu that comes down below the previous slide. You're going to fill in all your proxies information here and then hit add proxy. This will set them up as a proxy and their first name, last name, and their email address should show up where this white box is. There's a white box because this is a screenshot from my page. So obviously I can't show you my proxy's information, but it should show up right here. So then you're gonna wanna click expand. This is gonna bring you to this drop-down menu. And on this tab, the profile tab, it's gonna show like relationship and then the start and end date to your proxy's access. This is pretty important because you're gonna to want to make sure it is for at least the four years or more that you're at UVM because you don't wanna to have to go back through and re-add everything, that's just a pain. So make sure that these dates are what you want them to be. And also something super important here is the reset pin button. So. A lot of the time proxies will lose their pin or forget their pin or it just goes missing for some reason and you got to reset it. So from the proxy side, this can sometimes go really haywire and just it just doesn't work and resetting it is just a pain from the proxy side. So a super, super easy way is for you to go through your UVM portal and to hit the reset pin button. This will prompt your proxy to reset their pin and kind of bypass all the stuff that can go wrong and is a much easier way to do it. So remember that. And then the last thing that's super important is the authorization tab. So you really want to make sure that both of these boxes are checked if you want your proxy to have access to both your financial aid, which includes like your award, your loan information, all that type of stuff, and then billing, which is just important. So this is also very important for if anything ever goes wrong, or even if you guys just have questions about your financial aid or billing questions, stuff like that. If you want to come into the student financial services office and talk to a counselors about it, your proxy will have to be a proxy and have these things checked off if our counselors are going to be able to like tell them anything specific. So super important to have those checked off. Then lastly, you're going to want to hit email authorizations. This will just send an email to your proxy so they can finish up everything and then you guys should be good to go. So that's it. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any more questions or if anything isn't clear, feel free to email SFS or give us a call.